private investigator Matthew Scudder is hired by a drug kingpin to find out who kidnapped and murdered his wife. A Walk Amongst the Tombstones is a quiet, old school crime thriller with a very grey mood. The dialogue is pretty good. Uh, there's moments where it has comic tones to it and then other moments you're like, wow, that was really great dialogue. But then there's other moments where it's all just waffle. <laughs> now, don't expect Taken just because Liam Neeson is in this film. He does not result to violence. He is the kind of person that prefers to sort things out through the power of speech. So don't go in expecting a big action film. This is more along the sides of mystery, crime, thriller. But fans may enjoy a few phone calls from Liam Neeson himself in this film. So Neeson, he's very Neeson-esque in this film, but he's very convincing as the private investigator. This film proves that he should have been Robert McCall, but that's probably another conversation for when I do the Equalizer review. Dan Stevens is a drug kingpin and he gives a very subtle performance and I've recently become very obsessed with this man after watching The Guest, which he was absolutely incredible in. And he's great, he's becoming Hollywood's rising star I believe and I just want more from him because I think he's got more to give. Now this film was good but it did have its problems and the first problem lies within the trailer itself. Fortunately the trailer gives everything away. It's like you watch the film and certain aspects that happen that should be a <gasps> moment or a oh <laughs> you know those moments that are just meant to hit you hard or you're meant to feel really emotional about they're all in the trailer. So if you can, stay away from the trailer and just go watch this movie because it probably will be more enjoyable, but seeing the trailer, all the moments that you know should be special moments just plummeted. The second problem with this film probably lies within the writing or possibly the source material itself, the book. I've never read it so I'm not too sure if it is true to the book, what we see on screen, but the issue I had was some of the characters' decisions. Everything was just going so well and then some of the character decisions that would make I was just like, come on, that's too cliché. You were doing well and then you had to throw in some clichés in there. And I just felt like a lot of the characters' decisions weren't what that character would do. And it just kind of made you feel a little bit angry inside. If you ignore all the cliches in this film and some of the iffy writing, you actually have a decent atmospheric crime thriller with an alluring lead character. <laughs> <laughs>